Welcome back to Ask a Dad. I'm Chris Pena, and today's question comes from Sarah. Sarah wants to know, what can I do to prevent my Android app from crashing? Well, Sarah, this is a common frustration all developers face, but the good news is there's many things you can do to minimize crashes in your app. It's important to make sure that even if your app does crash, you're learning as much as you can from those crashes. Crash logging tools like Crashlytics allow you to log all crashes and organize them to see which ones are happening most often. This way, you can stay ahead of your users and start working on a fix as soon as the very first crash occurs. Consider creating custom keys to send additional information that might be useful when trying to diagnose and recreate the crash later. What screen the user is viewing, breadcrumbs showing how they got there, or whether or not this was their first time using the app can all be useful when trying to get to the bottom of what's causing your app to crash. Another great option if you're published into the Google Play Store is to take advantage of staged rollouts. If you have a lot of active users, it might be a good idea to start by pushing your app to a small subset, say maybe 10%. Then you can increase the number of users as you get feedback or go straight to 100% when you're ready to make your app fully available. You can also halt a staged rollout if you notice something is wrong. This will give you a chance to fix the problem before affecting any more users. Alpha and beta testing is another great way to distribute your app in a safe space before letting it loose in the general public. Android developers have a lot of options available to them, from using the built-in alpha and beta testing tools in the Play Store to simply sharing the APK with a group of friends. However you decide to beta test your app, make sure to collect feedback and distribute fixes so you can make your app rock solid before taking it live. Finally, writing well thought out unit tests, automation tests, and integration tests can go a long way to preventing crashes. Be sure to revisit those tests often to make sure you're testing as many failure points as possible. But don't forget, manual testing is also a great indicator as to the problems real people might face using your app. Make sure to give the app to someone else who might use it in ways you hadn't even thought of. Well, that's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.